out of your league here. You walk around town in your short skirts and your high heels and you just think you're all that, don't you? Like men are going to take a number just to fall at your feet. You're in for a rude awakening because Sonny's not going to fall for your cheap tricks. He already has. Sonny's a man. Sometimes he uses the wrong part of his anatomy. But that's over. <clears throat> so you need to go back to Italy or wherever it is you came from. Or better yet, why don't you join your whack job daddy in the mental institution and work on your father issues. You are awfully possessive for an ex, aren't you? I thought you were so happily married. I am. Eat your heart out. Oh, you know, your poor duped husband might buy that, Carly, but it's just that girl's here now, right? So let's be honest. You still want Sonny way more than I do. Yeah. Love you, Dad. Go out and play. Stop bothering me. <laughs> Okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I hear you. Yeah. He's fighting! Someone call 911! Gunshot wound. A what? little boy. How many places has been hit in the head? Oh. He's shot. Get him. He's shot. Let me shot. Listen to the wound. Got it. He's uh, his pupils are fixed and dilated. He could have cerebral edema. He's not responding. Right. Vitals. Twelve year old boy. You might find this hard to believe, but I can actually see how someone with your rather limited resources might think that you could stay married to Jax and still hold on to Sonny. I mean, after all, in a real competition, Kate Howard doesn't even place. But here's the problem. When you weren't paying attention, the landscape shifted. I'm here now, Carly, and I'm more Sonny's speed than either one of you. You're delusional. And you are suddenly not the only game in town. You're freaked out, but hey, I'm not judging you. Okay, you got one thing right. Kate's not going to last long. But for damn sure, you're not going to take her place. Okay, well, don't bet the hotel on it, sweetheart. Come on, let's talk, Claudia. Just us girls. Be honest, if you're capable. You're not after Sonny's hot bod. You're after his power. And that's so bad because... Because that makes you a predator, and there's no way in hell I'm going to let you devour Sonny. But it's okay if I screw his brains out, right? Kate, man, you better have one hell of an excuse for taking my son to the warehouse. Do you hear me? Carly, please stop talking and listen. There's been a shooting. Michael's been shot. What? The paramedics are working on him now. Is Michael breathing? Is, is he conscious? As far as I can see, he's breathing, and they're going to take him to General Hospital to just meet us there. Kate, Kate, where was Michael hit? Can you tell me where he was hit? Kate, don't hang up on me! Hey, whatever your name is, you need to get a car around front right now. Carly, and just get to General Hospital. Her son's been shot. Maria, need a car now! How bad is it? It's hard to tell. We've got to get him to General hey, Hospital and run some okay. tests. I can't tell you. we got to miss father. I'm going with you. Let's, let's move it. Tiny night. <sighs> Hospital, I'll meet you there. Mention Michael. Sonny went to the warehouse with Michael. He was shot. Sonny? Michael. Jason. He's, he's on his way. I don't even know how bad he's hurt. Ryan says it's head trauma. He was shot in the head. He's a little boy. Jason, he's, he's our little boy. How did this happen? Hey, buddy. I know you're probably scared, 
I know how it is. You know your dad's been shot many times. And I'm still here, still whole. And you're gonna be too, because uh, the doctors... The doctors are waiting for you. They're gonna, they're gonna make you better. You're gonna be good, okay? Lindsay Jekyll brings news of a most upsetting nature. My father? Little Michael Corinthos was shot. Where? Uh, the coffee warehouse. Why is the ambulance taking so long? You take an extra time, it just means they're helping Michael. Do you think it hurt? Do you think it hurt? I just don't want it to be in any pain. Jeez, I just didn't want him to feel any pain. Okay, everybody, the ambulance just pulled in. Just wait here, wait here. The best thing you can do for your son is to stay out of the way. You take care of him. You take care of him. Michael! You got a good Michael! shot, one to the head. BP's 150 over 80. Michael. Respiration. Michael, what is here, baby? Sorry, I'm right 42. here. I'm right here. Michael! Michael. Hey, baby, my son. I, I, we can I get him stabilized. He'll only be in the way. ICP as soon as we're able also. How did this happen? Sonny! Sonny, how the hell did this happen? I, want, I wanted to expose Michael to my legitimate business. I'm, you know, after everything that's happened, I want to show him that there's a different way of doing things. So I had Kate pick him up, bring him to the warehouse. It was busy, there was a full crew, there was custom agents. Hey, he was happy, he was, he was laughing, he was smiling, yeah, he was. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm, I say something to him, I turn around, I see a light, a reflection, maybe a rifle scope, hitting the lights. And I'm hearing, you know, call 911, call 9 And he's on the floor, he's lying there. And he's still, he's very still. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, listen. Listen, okay? Okay, you gotta, you gotta understand something. He was alive. He was very much alive. And he's gonna stay that way because the doctor's gonna take that bullet out. I'm not gonna lie to you, Michael's condition is serious. The bullet lodged in his brain. We're gonna have to operate. Oh my god. You're gonna be able to save him, right? I'm gonna certainly try. I need someone to sign a consent form. I'm gonna put them in the bags. No, I want them. Carly, it's not I want my son's clothes, please. 